So we're continuing our video now on how to solve the typical store finder pattern. So let's go back to um, the, st the default uh, view and you can see here that in this default view when I open up the grid um, the button that centers the map on a different location is um, closed and I have to press this button over here um, to open it up. Also you can see that there's a generic prompt over here that says enter an address and the label on this button over here says go and you'll also see that if I go here and I type in say Dallas and then click go then it centers the map on Dallas but it also closes down uh, the prompt so that the prompt got closed down automatically and uh, simply typing in go didn't actually cause um, the search to be executed. So now let's go back uh, to the airport finder example over here and we can see now that when I type, so first of all when we render this uh, grid the prompt for the address on which you want to send to the map is displayed and then when I go here and I type in say Dallas and click the uh, find button over here which which was relabeled from go to be find closest airport not only did we um, center the map on Dallas but we kept the prompt open and also we executed a search so let's go and see how all of those different things um, happen so let's go back to design mode and then go to um, the search part and open up the builder for the search part here and let's look at the various options that we chose so first of all we chose to display the search results on the map and we specified that uh, the latitude and the longitude uh, come from fields called latitude and longitude that was just done over here uh, in the builder uh, then finally we then we specified that the, ma the map icons that show up on the on the search part we want to use an image sequence and we chose this uh, the green 1 through 20 which is this sequence over there so that's how we got the uh, numbered icons on on the map but here's the interesting part um, we've said here that the center map prompt that its initial state should be open uh, so that so we don't have to actually first go ahead and click the button before we want to center the map then um, um, what we've done is um, we've entered custom a custom prompt for the instruction so uh, we've replaced what the the default prompt with enter a city uh, name uh, or zip code um, we've changed the button label from go to find closest airports and then we've changed the bubble help uh, to click here to find the uh, closest airports so uh, let's go back again and look at that now so you can see now uh, the prompt to send to the map is open and the um, label has been changed to find closest airports and the bubble help has been changed as well so next let's look at how we got it to uh, perform the search when we click the button over here so you can see here when I type in Dallas and then click find closest airports Alpha 5 goes ahead and actually does the search so let's go back to our customization over here and you can see that we've specified the onset event so this is the event that fires when the user clicks the button to center the map on a new location and we've specified that we want to call a JavaScript function called um, user set radius uh, this is just an arbitrary name it could, could just as easily have been called uh, my my function so uh, user set radius and let's go take a look now at our JavaScript functions and you can see here's our JavaScript function user set radius and we're just calling a built-in method of the grid of the grid called uh, submit search form which of course we can see by just going to search there and you can see there's submit search form so what this says is when the user clicks the button to send to the map not only do we want to send to the map but we'd also like to actually do the search itself so let's pause now and pick it up in the next video